Hello and welcome to another Motion Industries how-to video. My name is Tom Clark, I'm your host, and on today's how-to we got John Oakes from SKF. First time on the show, but he has got some cool stuff. See, there's this new solution for proper shaft alignment with their TKSA series. He's going to tell us all about it, so let's welcome him to the show floor. John, welcome, man. How Hi, are Tom. you? Hi, great. Thanks for having us. It is good to have you here. I am excited about it, not only because you're a first-time guest, but you brought a laser <laughs> for us to play with today. Um, but before we play with the laser, please tell us all about proper shaft alignment because that'll get us off to a good start. Shaft misalignment is a major contributor to rotating machinery breakdowns. Accurate shaft alignment can prevent many breakdowns and reduce unplanned downtime. Yeah, and that's what we're talking about. Uh, downtime means cost you a lot of money, right? Yes, and okay. help your machinery achieve maximum performance. And before we do that, we want to tell everybody, when you're working with stuff like this on the floor or maybe out in the field, always wear your safety glasses or whatever the PPE calls for. That's the most important thing. So we got our glasses here, but this is our demo right here. So we're going to keep moving. And this TKSA41, this is part of a full series, correct? Correct, Tom. We have the TKSA 11, 31, 41, and 51. All right, well show me some of the features of the 41 we have here to get started. Absolutely. The TKSA 41 is a laser alignment solution with large size detectors and bright lasers that allow precise measurements, even in the most challenging conditions. What really sets this unit apart is the wireless communication option mm -hmm. and the fact that it's really simple to use. A built-in camera captures images for reports and the QR code reader simplifies machine identification. This is all wireless, this all works together. Correct. Uh, all right, well, uh, all right, keep going here. Right. I'm, I'm, I'm loving this. Well, take a look. All right. Uh, we've mounted the B brackets and lasers and turn it on to save some time. Mm -hmm. The laser marked S for stationary goes on the shaft that we won't move. The laser marked M for movable goes the shaft we're going to adjust. Okay, so what we're going to be doing is those measurements are going to align this shaft with the one that's already stationary to get going. Yes, Tom. Just want to make sure that the laser lines on each of the lasers are in the center of each detector. Okay, so how do we actually get started? What's the first thing we do with this machine to, to figure out how it's out of alignment? Okay, look at your home screen. Gotcha. Now, at the home screen, we have new alignment, QR code, or machine library. Now, for this demo, we're going to select new alignment by pressing on it. Oh, it's got a picture of the machine right. and a bunch of letters. This is the dimension screen. Uh, to do a proper alignment, you need the dimensions for, between the laser heads, mm -hmm. which is A All right. down there. So that is three and a quarter inches. So press A. Okay. Press A and 3.25. Okay. The next is D. All right. And that's the distance between the center of the coupling and the movable uh, laser. Okay, now wait a minute. It's already got a number in there. It's going to split what you put between the lasers in half. So okay. what's it say? It actually did, it says 1.6. Oh, we're good. Right. Now, the next one is the movable laser to the first movable foot. We right. need to know the distance there. All right, how much is that? That's one inch. one inch. Just pressing, just putting one? Yes. Okay, and then we have C. Now that's the distance between the movable feet, and I know that is four inches, that's so go ahead inches. and put four inches. In. To move on, you select the, in the bottom right-hand corner is the next arrow. Okay, now I have uh, tolerance range. I've got speed for the Correct. for the machine. It's crucial when you're doing alignments to know the speed, to know how close you need to get your uh, shafts aligned. Okay. Now for this demo, let's just say this uh, shaft's turning at 1,200 RPM. Okay, so that would be selection number one actually, because that's yeah. zero to 2,000. Correct. And now it shows a picture of the machine. Go ahead and select the next arrow. Now I got what looks like a clock with some red arrows okay. on there. Okay. When you do an alignment. You want to be behind the movable machine to know where nine o'clock's at. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and turn the laser heads to the nine o'clock position. Okay. And once I'm in position. Ooh, it turned green. That's right. The blue triangle is going to turn green and automatically count down and take a measurement. Three, two, one. Okay, it says okay. Moving on, it tells us to go to twelve o'clock. Blue wedge. So are we going to are we going to move around the clock just to take measurements at, on the shaft? Correct. Okay. Yes. Well, this is pretty simple. Okay, I got a green. I got green now. Now, what's it telling us to do the next so step? To 3 o'clock. Okay, so we're going all the way around. All so the that, way around. That, that's telling us, okay, where the shaft is. I got green. It's counting down. There's our measurements. And uh, this is really pretty simple. This is, this is easy. So, okay, I've got a check mark and three red X's. Okay, so we're out of alignment. Okay. So on the top, it's showing us your horizontal misalignment, and on the bottom, it's showing the vertical. Okay. So we've got to make some adjustments. Yeah. So go ahead and hit the bottom right-hand uh, arrow key. Okay. Now the lasers are going to tell us to move to 12 o'clock or 6 o'clock position because when you do an alignment job, you always want to do the vertical adjustments first. Okay. Okay, so we're going to move to 12 o'clock. Got it. And once we're there, the wedge should turn green. It is turning green. Next step. All right, hit the next arrow. 
measurements being taken. I got two X's now. I guess this is showing um, our vertical alignment. Correct. And any adjustments that we're going to be making is going to be shown live. So you got the front feet, right. and then you got the rear feet. Okay, I've got uh, I've got a minus four and a plus sixteen point eight. Let's take a fifteen thousand shim, all right, and put those in the back of the motor. Okay, I've got those in. Okay, we got two green checks right there, so uh, we're good to go. You can see those right there by my finger. So oh, we can okay. move on to the next step, which is the horizontal adjustments. Okay. To do that, we hit the next key. Now the unit's telling us to go to nine o'clock or three o'clock. Okay. So we're going to move the horizontal plane. So we're going to go over here to three o'clock. And once I'm there, we're going to see the green wedge. Hit the next button. Right. Now it's going to tell us how far we need to move the unit. That's a measure. Okay, I've got one check mark, uh, but then uh, I have an X where it says 8.4. Okay, now the unit we're looking at is from the top down. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's telling us, hey, I got to move the motor to the left. You tell me when I get in the green area. From the top. 5.2. Oh, there you go. You got it. Got two check marks right there. You can see them once again. Those are the two check marks that we're looking for. Okay. All right. Hit the next arrow. All right. Uh, we're going to remeasure. Yes. We always want to verify an alignment job to make sure we're still in tolerance. Now it's telling us that we have to go to the nine o'clock position. Okay. And so we'll once we get all the check marks, we're going to realign it every way. Take all those measurements to make sure it's just right. Then we verify. can then we can crank up our machines again. Correct. We've got four green, and you can see it all right there. There's the four green check marks. So what we have done is we have perfectly aligned our shaft. Correct. Into the tolerance for the RPM we selected. Once we have our four green check marks, what's the next? process that we do here on our machine. See on the bottom of the display you see a yeah. checkered flag? Yes. We're finished. Okay. So go ahead and select that and it's automatically going to generate a report. This is where we can download the report. It shows yes. us before and after and the adjustment we made. Right. We can download that to a computer, a USB drive, and put it on a computer. Cool tool. I mean yeah. uh, a lot of industries can really benefit from using one of these can't they? We think so. It can be used universally on any piece of rotating machinery. What if I'm out in the field? Uh, you know, I'm somewhere out there. How do I know which of these series I need to use? Picking the best tool for the job depends on the capabilities your plant requires. And factors like your distance between the two measuring heads, degree of movement, and frequency of use. Now remember, the most expensive state-of-the-art unit may not be right for every facility. So we can actually contact an MI representative, we can talk to them, and they can figure out, you know, what's going to be the best tool for my needs. Exactly. Excellent. Well, John, great information today. Thank you so much. Hey, thank you, Tom. Welcome. Appreciate it. I, I really appreciate you being here. Uh, that was John Oakes. He was from SKF, and uh, this is the new series to help with proper shaft alignment. It's the TKSA series. Remember those four letters, TKSA. So when you contact your nearest Motion Industries branch location, you can say, hey, John was there. I saw the video. I, I need to know more about this because uh, it's a new solution. I want to make sure my shafts are aligned properly. They will be able to help you out. And I'll be able to help you out with other MI How To videos. If you just want to go to our website, which is mihowto.com, uh, there's a lot of how to videos there, and there's also what we call the Tom's Toolbox videos as well. Please check those out. I'm Tom Clark, I am your host, and thanks so much for watching today.